DeFi, short for decentralized finance, is all about reinventing finance but on the blockchain to make it more open, transparent and decentralized. There are already 15 billions invested in DeFi and we have more and more users who flock into the ecosystem and some DeFi projects already started to overtake some centralized projects like Uniswap that now has a higher trading volume than Coinbase even though Coinbase has vastly more resources and is vastly more high profile than Uniswap. This really shows you that the DeFi revolution has started and there is nothing to stop it. So in this video, I will tell you how I learned DeFi development, the mistake I've made Made and the two kind of opportunities there are in DeFi for a developer. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and have been in the blockchain industry since 2016. I've worked for many blockchain and DeFi projects like Lending Block and Lending Platform, FutureSwap, a derivative exchange, and Z5, a company of the Y Combinator that is building a DeFi wallet. On my channel, Eat the Blogs, I have also produced hundreds of video tutorials about blockchain and DeFi. I've also taught blockchain to hundreds of students in my blockchain courses. So, how did I get started in DeFi? Before 2020, there were a couple of DeFi projects like Uniswap and MakerDAO, but it's only at the beginning of 2020 that we started to see a big growth in the DeFi ecosystem. At that time, I knew blockchain and Ethereum, but I didn't know much about DeFi. I knew I had to catch up quickly, so I made a list of a few DeFi projects and I started to try to understand how they worked. I've made a few mistakes. First, I didn't pick the right DeFi project. Second, I tried to get into the technical right away. And third, I tried to study too many DeFi projects at the same time. So I became a bit overwhelmed, confused, and I almost gave up. But then I tried again with a different approach. This time, I just tried to use some DeFi protocols as an end user and I would only study a few DeFi projects, the most important ones, and I will do this one project at a time. To start with, I picked MakerDAO, the creator of the stablecoin DAI, and I started to manipulate DAI using my MetaMask wallet. Then I started to use Uniswap, a decentralized exchange, to trade some ERS20 tokens. The interface of Uniswap is very simple, it's good for beginners. And after, I continued with Compound, a DeFi project to lend and borrow ERS20 tokens. So I lent some token there and I earned some interest. After this initial phase of experimentation, I started to feel a little bit more comfortable and it was time to do some coding. So I decided to build a couple of small DeFi projects on top of the other project I just studied. For example, for Uniswap and Compound, I built a dashboard to show current market prices for these projects. And I kept doing this for other projects. First use the project as end user, then try to build something on top of it. So now that I had these new skills, I started to reflect to see how I could use them. I saw two big opportunities as a DeFi developer. The first one and the most obvious one is to work as a DeFi developer for a company. If you follow my channel, you know that I recommend to be specialized in something. This helps you to have a higher salary and to find a job more easily. When you are a DeFi developer, you are not only specialized in blockchain, but inside the blockchain industry, you are even more specialized in DeFi. This kind of profile is very rare on the market. As a blockchain developer, you can make $100,000 per year, but if you add your extra specialization in DeFi, it can easily be 10 to 20% higher, and I'm being very conservative. Another big benefit is that you will work in a super innovative field where you are free to experiment and create new things. Another thing I really love about DeFi is how exciting it is. Every single week you have so much happening. You always have some new projects coming up, some events on the market, some new crazy DeFi concept. I've worked in a few other industries and it never felt that way. Then I really love that DeFi is about finance. If you are into finance and coding, DeFi is for you. And being about finance means that you work on something that is really important. If you are a web developer, sometimes you can work on something that seems really not important, like what should be the size of this font, or should I put one or two inputs in this form? But in DeFi, we are talking of revolutionizing finance, which is at the very core of the world economy. This is going to be bigger than the internet. But the thing that I think is the most exciting when you are a DeFi developer is that it can help you to become a DeFi entrepreneur. 
a lot of the DeFi entrepreneurs were also coders because it allowed them to code the initial prototype without spending too much money and without spending too much time doing some back and forth with contractors. So first you need to learn DeFi coding, then it unlocks the second big opportunity, which is to create your own DeFi project. As a DeFi developer, you can earn a lot already, but as a DeFi entrepreneur, sky is the limit. As an entrepreneur, DeFi is really an amazing place. First, you have a very solid community of users very eager to try new things. Then you have a pool of passionate blockchain developers who love to build DeFi projects, which is great for hiring. And finally, you have a ton of investors who fight to invest in DeFi projects. Yes, they do fight. There isn't enough DeFi projects for all the money they have to invest. I haven't seen this in any other industry. The way DeFi entrepreneurs make money is by building a project, raising money, hiring developers, keep building their project, and at some point in the future, they resell the share of the company. This can happen pretty fast in one, two years, or longer, in five, six years, or even longer. For example, two developers who build a service to send transactions at optimal gas prices sold their project to another blockchain project called Infura two years after starting. We don't know how much they made exactly, but it's probably at least a few hundred thousand dollars each. And for the really big DeFi project like Uniswap or Compan, these guys are probably on a longer time scale. But when these founders will finally sell their project, they will hit a major jackpot. We're talking of tens of millions, if not hundreds. And if you don't want to bother to have investors, it's also possible to be a indie hacker style of DeFi entrepreneur and focus on monetizing your DeFi project as soon as possible. An example of that would be Uniswap ROI, a tool to optimize your investments on Uniswap. After having said all that, are you excited by DeFi? Nope, I give up. Yes, awesome. So the next step is to register for my live training, how to get started in DeFi. I will give much more details than in this video. I will give you the exact roadmap you need to follow to become a DeFi developer. I will give this live training on Monday 21st of December at 11 p.m. UTC plus 8. It's free to register, you just have to follow the link below. I will see you there.